Welcome back to Microbiology Lab. My name is Kevin Tokoff, and in this video we're going to discuss the starch hydrolysis test, also simply referred to as the starch test. So first of all, some species of bacteria are capable of performing what's called starch hydrolysis. Now another term for starch that you may have heard in other classes or textbooks is amylose. And some bacteria can actually hydrolyze or break down this amylose into individual disaccharides and monosaccharides. In fact, here's the reaction that we're going to be looking at today. So starch can be broken down into glucose, which is our monosaccharide, and other small disaccharides and so on and so forth. And this is accomplished via an enzyme called amylase. In fact, you may have seen amylase in a class like A&P, Anatomy and Physiology, because we too actually possess this enzyme. And starch is a giant polysaccharide. It's a giant uh, polymer of individual glucose units, and this enzyme, amylase, can break it down um, into small disaccharides and then the monosaccharide glucose. And in the case of bacteria, they can actually do this reaction in order to produce glucose and disaccharides, and then therefore they can actually use those pieces to produce energy in catabolism. All right. Now, only some species of bacteria actually have this enzyme amylase. So the ones that do would be amylase positive. The ones that do not have this enzyme would be amylase negative. We can actually use what's called the starch hydrolysis test in order to determine whether or not the species of bacteria in question have this enzyme amylase. All right, so what we do is we actually have a setup very similar to what you see here on this plate, um, except it won't look like this yet. So what we do is we plate uh, two species of bacteria, one on one side of the plate, and the other on the other side. And typically what they'll tell you to do is take some kind of marker on the back side of the plate and draw a line just so you know where you're plating. But the point is on either side of that line on the plate you have a different species of bacteria. And presumably in your course one of these species will produce amylase and the other will not. So how do you know? Well, you plate them on there and you incubate them, right? And the bacteria perform their metabolism as normal. And one of them is going to be breaking down starch and the other is not. So how do you tell? Well, what you do is after the incubation period, you use an iodide type of reagent, okay? And they have special names. And you pour some iodide on here and it can cause a color change. So let's think about this logically for a second. If you have a species of bacteria that does produce amylase. The starch that's present on the plate would be broken down, right? There wouldn't be starch there anymore, right? But if the bacteria does not produce amylase, then it's not going to be breaking down the starch, and so that starch will remain on the plate. So what the iodide does is it reacts with the starch and causes it to turn dark purple. Okay, so if there's starch remaining on one side of the plate, the iodide causes it to change to a dark purple color. Well, on which side here, A on the right or B on the left, which side has starch remaining? Well, clearly over here on the left side, B, this is the side where starch is remaining because all of it turned this dark purple color. So starch remains here on the left side, so that means that the bacteria on this left side, B, do not produce amylase, because if they did, they'd be breaking the starch down. But they don't produce this enzyme, amylase, so the starch remains there, and it turns this dark purple color. So therefore, over here on the left side, B, because of this purple color change, we would say that these bacteria are amylase negative. They do not manufacture this enzyme amylase. But over here on the right side, we see there's a clearing, uh, mainly in the center of this right side of the, of the dish. Okay? But you can see here there's a large clearing where there's no purple color. That's because over here on the right side, the A bacteria, they did produce amylase. They did produce it. And so they cleared this whole area here in white of starch. They cleared it. They metabolized it and broke it down to glucose and disaccharides. So there's no starch here because they produce this enzyme. Therefore, if you see a clearing, a significant clearing on any side of the Petri dish, that means they do pr produce amylase and would therefore be amylase positive. All right. So the starch hydrolysis test is really a simple test with an enzyme that many of you have probably seen in the context of anatomy and physiology. And it gives a pretty straightforward and simple result. If you see a clearing, 
after you add the iodide, you have an amylase positive species, whereas if the whole side of a petri dish is purple, you do not produce amylase, or the bacteria, I should say, do not produce amylase, and therefore you have an amylase negative species. All right, so hopefully this video gave you a little intuition on the starch hydrolysis test. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for future videos and notifications. Thank you very much.